Welcome back to Rachel's Fit Pilates. This is an ab workout today. If you'd like to do a warm up before, you can click the link above. Otherwise, join me and we'll get right into it. Let's start with our legs hip distance apart on the wall. Feet are flat, hips are underneath the knees, and then we're gonna support our head for all of these exercises. So let's bring our hands behind our head. We're gonna flex up, bring one knee towards you, and then the other knee, and then come back down. We'll be working in intervals of 20 seconds today and then doing 10 seconds of rest in between. This is working into the upper abs when we flex up and then working the hip flexors as we bring the knees towards us. Good, head comes down to rest. Now we're gonna do an oblique twist. So while you're resting, I'll show you. We're gonna twist as you bring one knee towards us and then the other side and then repeat. Let's begin. So keep those elbows open wide. Feel like you're bringing that shoulder blade off of the mat. For all of the ab exercises, we try to exhale as we flex up and then inhale lower, but just focus mostly on the movements here and then breathe normally if it gets too confusing. Okay, let's come down. We'll take a few moments to rest here and you can watch as I demonstrate the next one. We'll be flexing up and then point one leg up towards the ceiling, bring it out to the side and then return. So let's begin. Bring that leg out as far as you wanna go. The main thing here is to just be really steady through the hips. So keep that low back pressed into the mat and then just bring that leg back and forth. Try to stay lifted through that upper body as we get tired and you wanna sink down, but do your best here. Great, let's place that foot down. We're gonna go right to the other side, trying to stay up. Point that toe, bring that leg back and forth. If your neck starts to get tired here, you can keep your head down, but you will lose a little bit of the upper ab work here. Put that foot down and then bring the head down, we'll rest. The next one we'll do is similar, but we're gonna do circles with the leg. We'll flex up, bring the foot up, and then circles as big or as small as you wanna go. Let's begin. So circle the leg. We wanna keep those hips steady and then keeping that low back into the mat. Point that toe and feel the length through that leg. Put that foot down back on the wall and then place the other leg up. Try to stay lifted here and then circle around, keeping those hips stable. And remember, you can bring your head down if it's uncomfortable for you to keep it up. Put that foot down. You can bring your head down to rest. The next one we're gonna do is a little interesting. So we're going to put one hand overhead, bring the other hand to support it. Now you're gonna flex up and go to the side, go to the center, and then go to the other side. And that's one rep, so we'll do that for 20 seconds. So come up to the side, center, and to the side, and come back. So the arms are adding some variety here, but the main point is to just work those upper abs as we flex up each time. Switch sides. So place the other arm behind your head and then we're gonna flex up, reach, and two, and then to the other side and come back down. And last one to the side, come down to rest. Now we're gonna place both hands behind our head. You're gonna bring one leg into tabletop. Now we're gonna flex up and twist to the opposite side, point that toe, bring it back to tabletop, and then come back down. We'll stay on the side the whole time. If you don't have enough space to point your toe, you can scoot further away from the wall.
come down and then now we'll go to the other side so put the other leg at tabletop flex up point come back to the tabletop come back down and repeat From here, we're gonna sit up. You're gonna scoop back a little bit and then put your feet lower than your knees. Arms are gonna be reaching in front. The beginner version will be rolling back and then coming back up. And the intermediate or more difficult version is coming down to the floor and then bringing the arms up towards the chest and then rolling all the way up. Keep those arms lifted and then roll all the way down. Pick which one feels best for you and let's begin. So if you're doing that full version, it'll be five reps. And then if you're doing the beginner version, you'll get quite a few reps of that tucking under and then coming back up. So that's still working on a lot of the same muscles that you'll use in the full exercise. So something to work up towards. Great, okay, now let's all go into a bridge. This will help stretch out those hip flexors that we've worked quite a bit and that we will continue to work in the second part of this ab workout. So now we're gonna do some ab exercises where we also extend the legs, but we're gonna use the wall for this. So I'm putting my legs out at about a 45 degree angle. If you wanna go lower, you can scoot further away. So bring the legs into tabletop, we're gonna flex up, you're gonna tap and tap and then come back down. Let's repeat. So really the goal here is to stay flexed up and then try to go as low as you can that's comfortable for you. Having that target point of the wall can help us aim to go lower here than if we're just extending the legs out without trying to reach a certain point. Come down. As you're resting, I'll show you the next one. We're going to flex up. Both feet come up. We're gonna lower and tap and then lift. So choose a comfortable distance for you. You don't want that low back to hurt. We're gonna lower down and then lift back up. You can try to keep imprinted here. So keeping that lower back closer to the mat if that's more comfortable for you. This is what I do to help keep my low back feel more supported and to not feel pain as I'm lowering both legs down. Come down to rest. Now we're gonna do a crisscross with the legs. Let's bring the legs into tabletop. We're going to flex up and then cross one foot over the other. If you wanna keep the legs extended, that's a more challenging version. So let's begin. Pointing those toes, legs are turned out. We try to stay flexed up as much as we can. Remember, you can keep your head down for these if you like. Or if you're like me, you can try to hang in there and progressively sink more into the mat as you get tired. Come down to rest. The next one we'll be doing is another version of lowering and lifting. So legs will be in tabletop. Let's flex up. We're going to lower, open and close, and then bring those legs back up. Let's go. everything comes down let's rest here let's press up into a bridge just to stretch those hip flexors out come down now put your feet up against the wall again put one hand to support your head we're going to flex straight up and then do small vertical pulses with one arm now you can lift your feet up for a few and then bring them back down so alternate back and forth like that or you can just keep your feet there the whole time
come down to rest. Now we'll just do that on the other side for 20 seconds. You're almost done and then you'll get a nice stretch. Flex up and then do small vertical pulses. And then you can alternate lifting those legs, working those hip flexors, and then lowering down, or you can keep the feet supported by the wall the whole time. If you are familiar with Pilates, you know that this is similar to the 100. To me, the biggest benefit of this exercise would be just the endurance of the ab muscles. So trying to stay flexed up for 100 counts. Okay, great, let's come down. Let's go back into a bridge one more time. So pressing through those feet, feeling that openness through the hip joint. When I was new to Pilates, working the hip flexors so much was very tiring for me. So definitely have to build up that endurance and doing it at home is a great way to start. Come up, we're going to go into a quadruped position. So on the hands and knees, and then we'll stretch out those stomach muscles that we have worked so much today. Begin by taking a breath in, and then we're gonna exhale as we flex that spine. Just hold for a few moments here, and then here's where we get that good stretch through the stomach. So letting that back extend so we feel the length through the abs. sit back you can sit on your knees or you can have your legs in front of you we're gonna extend the arms up and then again extending that spine feeling that length through the abs I'm so thankful that you joined me today I hope you enjoy the workout very different exercises today than what you would normally do in Pilates so I hope you liked the variety and I hope it felt good let's bring the arms back down you're all set I'd love for you to comment below how this felt Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.